This video um, is going to talk about synchronizers and shift colors. Um, hopefully you've already watched the video that had to deal with clutches and how a manual transmission works and getting down to some more technical data in here. Um, if you watched those videos before, you should know that these gears are all um, not mounted together. So inside this gear is a whole bunch of needle bearings and this gear can spin independently um, of this gear. Again, it doesn't appear like that because they're all meshed together on the counter shaft, okay? But please take my word for it. Now we're gonna talk about shifting, okay? I'm gonna take this pick in here and I'm gonna move this part here. That's called the synchronizer. You might have heard synchronizers or synchro rings um, being talked about before. And probably if you heard someone talking about a synchro, it's because the gears were grinding when they were being engaged. Synchronizers jobs um, do kind of what the, the, the name says. And when it synchronizes, it means that we're going to match the speed um, between the synchronizer and the gear that we're initiating in. So synchronizers work when you're shifting gears and you start to put some pressure on that gear to lock with the other lock into this mechanism. You can see that these don't line up right now. The synchronizer works as a brake pad. When this gear is pushed this way, the synchronizer slows down this gear. So the, these uh, collars can match the same speed and you can shift into gear easily. Um, this gear over here does not have synchronizers. And the reason that there is no synchronizer is that this is reverse gear. In this vehicle, um, you have to be at a standstill pretty much to put your vehicle into reverse. But forward gears, you want to be able to shift on the fly while you're moving. When you're moving down the road, because your rear wheels are moving on a rear wheel drive vehicle or your front wheels on a front wheel drive vehicle, that means that your output shaft is turning and turning rather quickly. So getting into gear isn't always that easy. When we push our foot on the clutch, our input shaft will stop turning. But because we're rolling down the road, our output shaft is gonna keep spinning rather quickly, okay? So a synchronizer's job is to match these two uh, gears speed together so the shift collar can go in without a whole bunch of grinding because if the drive shaft was turning at 500 RPMs and the input shaft was turning at 10 RPMs, let's say, okay, 10 versus 500, all, you wouldn't be able to shift into a gear without synchronizers. All you would get is a whole bunch of grinding. So, if I take you over to the drivetrain trainer now, the drivetrain trainer does not run fast. Um, it would blow apart if it ran fast. But alongside these gears, or the shift collar, this is the shift collar, and this is the synchro in here. You can see these little brass synchronizers in there, okay? Now it's made of a different material because they need to be harder. They are a wear part, and they come into action when you start to shift. When you start to put pressure, oops, sorry, I was on the wrong gear. When you start to move it into first, you see how it's moving over, but it's not going in? 
there's pressure on the synchronizer, the synchro slows down that output speed to match the input speed, so it can be shifted in properly. So you can shift on the fly, let go, and keep moving, okay? Um, unfortunately, I can't show you this driving down the road. The drivetrain trainer does not uh, turn at a speed or have wheels that drive the transmission, okay? But synchronizer's jobs are to match the input and the output gear um, speed so you can engage gears without grinding. The best um, indicator of this is if you've ever driven a really old truck that you can't downshift into first gear because older transmissions back in the day, first gear was really, really low just to get your truck moving. And people never really used uh, first gear to downshift into. You never went from second into first unless you had stopped. And then you were gonna maybe take off on a hill. So first gear in a lot of old transmissions were spur cut gears, just like the reverse gear is. And there was no synchronizers. Then they used synchronizers for the higher gears. But in modern vehicles, all our five speed transmissions have synchronizers in all gears. And if you have uh, one particular gear that grinds, let's say your third gear grinds, but one, two, um, four, five feels good, then the problem is you have a worn out synchronizer. Because the synchronizer goes to work as soon as you start shifting, as soon as you start leaning forward into uh, we're gonna say third gear, which is this one. As soon as you start pushing forward into first into third gear, pressure gets put on the synchronizer. It slows down the output gear and matches their speeds, and they just shift in, and it happens very very quickly. Um, if you were to lean on your shifter, you need to be careful because when you're leaning on your shifter when it's in neutral. Let's say you don't shift it, but you just lean on it. You're engaging the synchronizer. So it's very popular for third gear to be worn out because third gear in its natural state um, is the center of the shift pattern where it would normally be in neutral. And if the driver were to sit there with their hand on the gear shifter, they would be wearing out their third gear synchro. So right there, is the middle and neutral, third being in the middle. If someone just sat there with their hand on it, but slightly pushing ahead when their engine's running, they would be wearing out their third synchro and not even know that. And vice versa, if that person were to be pulling back, they would wear out their fourth gear synchro. Now you can wreck your synchros by just speed shifting, shifting as hard as you can, um, and that'll do it too. These things are not race transmissions and we're never intended on being that. Um, so when you start getting grinds and gears, it's time to overhaul your transmission and a synchro and bearing kit is what would be installed where you could change all the synchronizers and then the bearings usually inside of a transmission um, when you do the job. I hope that helps um, understand how uh, transmissions shift and synchronizers.